Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Tease Test. This is brought to you by The Arc. Uh, my name is Matthew Lester. I am Fred Dursky. My name is Joseph Guy. My name is Casey Zapata. And in this slide, we're going to introduce to you what the Tease Test is, how you can interpret your results, and some general practice and study tips that you can use while you're preparing yourself for the test. All right. So a little bit about what the Tease Test has in it. First, it's based on four major categories reading, math, science, and English and language. The key point is to evaluate your ability to complete that type of work that you normally see within a nursing program once you get accepted in. So like I said, there's those four major categories and it's structured in a way that reading consists of 53 questions, which you have a little over an hour to complete. Math, you have much less questions, but usually those are more intensive. So while you have 54 minutes, some of those questions may take a little more time. You have to structure your time accordingly. And then the science, 53 questions, again, a little over an hour, and about a minute each question for the English and language usage. A total of about three and a half hours. So you definitely make sure you have prepared to take that time limit and actually work through the questions in a timely fashion. Hey guys, so once you actually get your test results back, how well you do is shown here, your total score, and your scores for each individual section are shown down here. So how your results work is that you are compared to your other peers that took the test the same time as you. Or in other words, they're shown how well you did compared to everybody else. So your goal at minimum is to be above 45%, but you also want to do really well compared to everybody else. So our recommendation is, even though this test results can be kind of confusing, your goal is to just get your total score as high as you can. All right, so what you should and should not bring into the T's test. What not to bring is scratch paper because it's provided, a calculator, food or drinks, textbooks or any other kind of reference or resources, sunglasses, hats or hoods, electronics, and backpacks. What you might want to bring is definitely your credit or debit card, an ID, two sharpened pencils, and a completed test ticket. So some general tips about standardized test taking in general. The first is practice, 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 practice. You will never know exactly how you're gonna feel uh, in the midst of a test, but if you practice with uh, timed practice tests and other things like that, uh, you'll get a much better idea of how you react to time pressure um, and you'll get much more comfortable uh, answering the types of questions that you'll see on the TEAS test uh, more quickly. You'll be able to use your, use your time better. Second, uh, with regard to the time pressure, once again, is to remain calm. Uh, don't overwhelm yourself. Um, don't get bogged down. Uh, if you feel like you don't know a question, um, just keep, uh, keep moving. Uh, it's much better to, uh, and on to the next point, much better to give educated guesses uh, and then move to uh, the next question than to spend several minutes working on one more difficult question uh, that, might, that might take time from, uh, from some other questions that you could do better on. Fourth point is definitely to eat and sleep. If you have a choice uh, between, you know, doing only one thing the night of the night before the test, definitely use that to get a good night's sleep. That extra few hours of studying, uh, if you sacrifice your uh, your mental sharpness for the next day, is not worth it. Uh, same thing for uh, for making sure that you're not hungry during the test. Next, read actively, uh, especially on the English and language sections, but also uh, on the math sections where you have word problems. Uh, be, be purposeful in how you read. Watch for specific words and phrases. Um, and next, oh, well, I guess the next two, study your weak points and study your strong points. So what do we mean by that? Well, you definitely want to spend some time building up 
your, your weak points, things that you might not be as comfortable with, things that you need a little bit more time to review. Um, but also study some of your strong points. Hit some of the things that, uh, that you think you know really well because they're going to present them to you maybe in a slightly different way on the TEAS test uh, than, you're, than you're used to seeing some of these problems and questions. So also make sure that you, that you study that as well. During the test, and these are some of the things that we talked about just a moment ago, one thing is to pace yourself. As you saw on uh, the first couple slides where we broke down the format of the test and how many questions and, and the times that you get for each section, you'll see that most of the sections don't give you a ton of time per question. So you'll need to take that into account and keep sort of a mental clock in your, in your head as to how long you're spending on each question. And make sure that you're keeping a good pace throughout the test. Once again, uh, if you hit a tough question, guess, move on. And then uh, if you have extra time in the section, you're, you can go back and uh, try to answer some of those tougher, tougher things uh, that you didn't get through uh, the first time. Um, but even if you don't have that extra time at the end, even if you run out of time, you know that you've got, uh, that you've got many more questions correct, uh, than, or you've got to answer many more questions than you would have, uh, than you would have if you got stuck on a couple of them. And last, this is just general test taking advice. Don't second guess yourself. And if you, if you guess the first time, uh, then, then don't go back and change it because you're more likely to uh, second guess a right answer and then uh, change it to a wrong. So that is uh, the end of this short first introduction to the T's test. And we will have more detailed breakdowns of the other sections in the videos to follow.